back to our channel. Today we're going to be reading Afraid of the Light. There once was a chap called Ditter Von Depp who lived deep inside of a cave. He couldn't stand sunlight. It's too blinding and bright. So he always stayed in the shade. He never used candles or even a flashlight. He never used anything the slightest bit bright. He kept all these things in a chest out of sight because Ditter Von Dapp was afraid of the light. People tell me they're afraid of the dark, and to that I just laugh, har har har. What could be scary when there's nothing to see? The dark isn't scary, it's the light that scares me. It could blind me and wind me, it could drive me insane, or illuminate things I don't like. Much better to stay in the cozy dim dark than risk being caught in the light. Of course in the dark, even he would remark, it's a bit hard to see what's around, but better to stick with the dark which I know than in the light be found. So squinting, he'd scuttle and shuffle and slip and slallop and schluff and stumble and trip. From his bed to his kitchen and his living room too, he stayed in the dark, for that's what he knew. But then one day, as he put on his socks, he found with dismay, my left shoe has been lost. I can't walk around with only one shoe, and my toes will get cold. Oh, Garfunkel Kapu. He looked high and low. He looked left and right. He looked all day, and he looked all night. The trouble, of course, is that looking is tough. When you're looking in darkness, all you see is dark stuff. Ah, Krishnafit, he grumpily said. I guess I'll have to try something new instead. With a frown on his face, he opened the chest, where he kept all his candles and lights. He pulled out a candle and pulled out a match and carefully squinted his eyes. As he lit up the match and the candle with two, he cautiously opened his eyes. And what he discovered, although a bit scary, was a wonderful surprise. It didn't blind him or wind him or drive him insane. In fact, it was quite a treat. The light, it lit the shadows, the flame made some heat. Looking around his dingy old cave, he was thrilled that it was there. Beautiful colors and shapes and textures. I can't believe I was scared. But I mustn't get carried away or forget what I have lit this candle to find. I've got to keep searching for my missing left shoe, now that I'm not quite so blind. So he searched and he saw and he looked all around, but his gosh darn left shoe just could not be found. One candle won't do, he said with a frown. I need some more light. So with a leap and a bound... He frolicked and gleefully lit all his lights. He jumped and hollered and he yelled with delight. As he looked at his cave that was gleaming with light, everything illuminated, twinkling and bright. In just 49 minutes, his whole cave had been lit with 108 candles and that wasn't it. There were kerosene lamps in the chandelier too. Every inch of his cave glowed a warm golden hue. And that's when he saw from the corner of his eye a little mouse in red robes who was standing nearby. She smiled and slowly stepped to the side to reveal his left shoe. Oh, what a surprise. It was you all along, he said with a laugh, as he realized this mouse had provided a path. She had not taken his shoe simply for play. She had taken the shoe to show Von Dapp the way. All this time, my dear mouse, I've been afraid of the light. I've lived in the dark. It was always like night. But now I clearly see what's actually true. What in fact I feared was that which was new. The darkness you see was familiar to me, so in my mind I made light a feared enemy. I thought up long stories about what it could do, how it might drive me insane or turn me to goo. But now thanks to you taking my gosh darn left shoe, I see that my thinking was simply untrue. There's no reason at all to be afraid of the light. Oh goodness, oh golly, what a delight. So my dears, the next time you can't find your shoe or you're stuck and just not sure what to do, here's my tidbit of insight for you. Simply, courageously, furiously try something new. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Afraid of the Light. And stay tuned for more book reads coming soon. See you guys and thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye.